you've removed your you removed your old window. I showed you how to do that by releasing the releasing the line and then popping the window out. I like to start out with a clean cut, because that's where your seam is going to end up. So if you have a jagged cut, you're not going to get a smooth seam. So again, you look at the profile, and the profile shows you that the smaller slot goes on the metal, and the wider slot's going to accept the window. And to apply it, all you do is just squeeze in on it, get it over the metal, and forcing the gasket down on the position. When you get to the corners, it's going to be a little bit trickier. But you'll notice that if you just apply enough force, you can get it to slip past. you got to make sure that you're on on both sides. And when you get a corner around, I like to pound it into the corner to make sure that it's all the way in, because as you're going along, sometimes you pull it off a little bit. And then when you cut your seam and you put your window and you'll come up short. So I like to make sure that I'm, I'm pounded in all the way. that my gasket's on all the way around. I'm ready to cut the seam. So I, I like to go at least a half inch past. You can go a little bit less, but then you may come up short. So and again, clean cut, clean as you can get it. And then all you gotta do is just take this back and force it on ahead of the other piece and then push your difference in. If you have too much past, it's going to want to keep popping off yeah. on you because you're trying to force too much into it. It's about a half inch. At yeah. the most, yeah, half inch is usually if about. You don't have enough of a gap in the wintertime. Right. Now I'm wondering if it's going to be a little bit tight. All right, so that's your first step. You got your gasket installed. WD-40, generous, generous amount right inside the groove, right up around, make sure you don't spray your partner who's standing next to you. Now because everything's WD-40, it's going to get slippery, so once you get it started, I started by opening up the groove getting it in. Now what I'm going to do is as, as I'm sliding it in, I'm also keeping pressure forward. And the key is to get this corner in first. Now be careful with the awl because you're going to slip a little bit. You don't want to slip and hit yourself in the face. So as you're starting to get into the corner, you use the awl to keep it in while still applying pressure in that direction to keep it in. Now you also got to make sure you stay in down here. And this is the tricky part. So I'm applying pressure this way, and I'm also applying some downforce here to try to keep this end in. Occasionally the gasket wants to slip out the other Try to come around the other side and pop it back in. All right, so now I'm, I'm, I'm in the bottom, and i got to keep working it around. And she wants to pop out. This is easier, it looks easier than it is too. Oh, it, it can be frustrating. Yeah, it looks like it can be very frustrating. Oh, yeah. we'll, we'll make, we'll make sure they do this. Who's the best one I do in this car? I'll have to place. Gary used to whip them in there real fast. Well, like, like I was telling these guys, it depends on the type of gasket that we have, because sometimes the manufacturers, you get a different run in than the last time you had it. So it changes a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
They don't always just snap right in. Pretty close right now. And you just keep working it. have that little bit of play in the window. So now what you got to do now is you got to try to make sure you're even on both sides. So when you snap lock it, you're even all the way around. Because if you're too close to the edge here, even after you snap lock it, you can punch this window and it might come out. So I just try to even them up. Is it the same up and down or is it a little tighter up and down? Uh, it's just the ends I'm worried about. No, it's going to be about the same top yeah. and bottom. Okay. Alright, so now I'm ready to put the snap lock on. I gotta spray it with WD-40 again. And I usually start right here in the middle. You just get one piece to start, by forcing it in with the awl, like that. And again, it's a little bit slippery because it's WD-40, so you gotta be careful. Corners are a little trickier. It's just applying that forward pressure, I'm kind of dragging the oil forward with, by leaning it back slightly and just making sure that that seal goes down. And you got to change angles and positions. just to make sure that it's in all the way in the field. If you give it a little bit of a pound on the other side, if it's not in all the way, it'll pop out. Okay. window is We're all done. Again, it's 